Welcome back everybody to the Phil Hodge Experience. Today we're going to be doing another reaction video. This is going to be to Oliver Anthony, the new artist we just found out about about a week or so ago with his song Rich Men from Richmond. Uh, we went ahead and if you haven't seen that, uh, go ahead and uh, put a, a card or something in the, in the thing so you can link to it. But uh, this is his newest song. It just dropped a couple hours ago and it's going to be your first time listening to. So if you like this kind of content, please like, subscribe, give a thumbs up, hit the bell notification. And on this channel, we particularly like to look for, we like all kinds of music. We just like learning and, and listening and experiencing things in general. But we do have a focus on politics, particularly the conservative points of views and the Democrat points of views and the two sides of those arguments in particular with a right-leaning bias. So... Hopefully this song will be as good at the last and can hit home a lot of uh, important things. I have a pen ready. I had a pen ready. Come on, get untangled. Who knew you could tangle up a pen? So, got my pen ready, got some basic notes. Uh, there won't be any lyrics or anything, so we're just going to have to wing it and let's, uh, let's see what happens. So, with no further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. If it won't for my whole dogs and the good Lord. They'd have me strung up to be in the psych ward Cause every day living in this new world One, two, many days to me Son, we're on the brink of the next world war And I don't think nobody's praying no more And I ain't saying I know it for sure I'm just down on my knees Begging the Lord and take me home. I want to go home. Okay, it's toxic again. I don't know which road to go. Been so long. I just know I didn't used to wake up feeling this way. Cussing myself every damn day. There's always some kind of bill to pay. People just doing what the rich man say. I want to go home. So that was that was really good. I like that. <clears throat> um, I think, though, it kind of seemed like the focus on this, though, or a good theme you could extract from it was particularly the praying. And I, and I talk a lot about this uh, to people who listen. Where much how when you're young, you go on a walkabout or a rum springa or you got to go sow some oats. <clears throat> excuse me. You got to go sow some oats and frolic through Europe kind of stuff. And then eventually you find your way back to God. And... Essentially, I think that's what our nation is doing as a whole. And that's what he was kind of talking about there with that line about praying. Because that nobody's really praying anymore. Uh, but with, with songs like this that are kind of waking up people to the unity that can happen going against the woke mentality, mentality of the left and to come back to God and to have standards and rule of life and, and things like that. Uh, so we're going to go back a little bit, a lot, and then we'll go from there. Let's see what... Break down the chorus. First, whatever. Now four generations farming the ground. Grandson sells to a man out of town. Two weeks later, trees go down. Only got concrete growing around. I wanna go home. I wanna go home. I don't know which road to go. It's been so long. I just know I didn't used to wake up feeling this way. Cussing myself every damn day. People have really gone and lost their way. They 
I'll just do what the TV say. I wanna go on. <clears throat> and that's and that's for sure true. People really do only kind of pay attention to what the TV says. But understandably, I get why. Let me explain. Here's the truth of the matter. Not I'm making up the percents. But like 80, 90-ish percent of people are sheep. That's just how it is. It's the fact of the world. Humans, like structures, will go ahead and use some sort of pyramid scheme little thing, like matriarchy, patriarchy type stuff, right? We like having people on top and then going down. That's just kind of how we do our systems. Um, and then let me, let me hear that again. They all just do what the TV say. I want to go home. And so that's why it's very easy when you get onto TV for people just to do what the TV says. Uh, most people, believe it or not, need to be told what to do or what to think. And, or, or, or let me rephrase that. It's very easy to tell people what to do, what to think. It's very hard for you to teach people how to think so then they can have informed decisions on what to do, right? See, that's a whole more different, that's a, yeah, you took a, a black and white scenario and made a multi-analysis scenario with that. So that is the truth of the matter. And that's one, one reason why we do these kind of shows, do these kind of analysis to break down what's going on in the, in the, culture, in the culture wars and what we can do to kind of fight these things. You gotta point things out in order to be able to fight them like the color blue. Blue was the last color discovered because it didn't have a name. And then once peep, some random guy, we'll call him blue, found it. He then named it after himself, I guess, maybe made that up. <clears throat> and which is then able for other people to find it or to, to i.e. also see the color blue. So that's it. We have to teach people to do that kind of thing, though. So it is what it is. But let's let's keep going. We'll go back a little bit because I know people like that kind of stuff. Do what the TV say. I want to go home. I'm home. For now. If it weren't for my whole dogs and the good Lord, they'd have me strung up in the psych ward. That's it. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Okay, let's break that down in life kind of these kind of quotes. Okay, I wonder who says it though. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his soul? Yeah, that's, that's just that's a really complex way of saying you're selling your soul for the devil. Right? Or you're selling your soul for the swift exchange. What's the point of having the whole world if you don't have your soul? That's all they're saying right here. Um, it depends, honestly. Uh, what For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Well, I would say it depends on how you gain the whole world and what you view as to gain the whole world. Um, for like for for an example, if you can't have kids and you sell your soul so you can have a kid to say, let's say, make your wife happy. I don't know. Well, then presumably that child is your whole world, and I and that and arguably that might be a reasonable that where well, that would be the case. That would justify selling your soul or at least you would perceive it to be so i don't know that's a ridiculous scenario anyway who gets nobody talks to like a crossroad demons or anything like that anymore at least nobody's told me about it <clears throat> so you know it is what it is i want to hear that last part again one more time what, what was that let me like to, to wrap up something about straight jackets dogs and the good lord they'd have me strung up in the psych ward yeah, I get that because with all the chaos and stuff, you want to you want to fight back and yell, and you don't know how, and you're frustrated. So you have to you have to have your dogs and Jesus. Basically, is what he's saying. You have to have some sort of faith in a higher entity or being that is outside of this, uh, outside of our realm of understanding. That's that's the nutshell version of that. 
and you always have to have good friends and companions if you can't find humans in that manner. Dogs are a good way to go. I have a dog. Her name's Daisy. Well, she's my roommate's dog. She's not my dog. She's my roommate's dog. Um, but that's not what this is about. So I'd like to thank you all for tuning in, by the way. If you like this kind of content, if you enjoyed uh, what, I, what I brought to the table, please like, subscribe, give a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Also, I'm getting involved in politics myself and currently have a GoFundMe to help fuel my campaign so I can take these kind of fights and arguments to directly to the man himself, so to speak. Uh, big brother and all that. So please go ahead and check those out. And I will also leave a link to his, this, uh, Oliver Anthony. Two first names, still like that. I'll leave a link to, uh, to his thing as well, his channel. So you can go ahead and check out him and give him a subscription as well. Go ahead and give me one. And with that, this Phil, we'll see you in the future.